we've looked at the evolution of Six Sigma tools. Most of these tools are mainly used to measure the variation and significance of a Six Sigma process. So, let's now understand the concept of variation and significance in Six Sigma. Let's look at a pizza delivery example. Customers want their pizzas to be delivered quickly and almost instantly. They also want their pizzas to be fresh and hot. Let's now understand how to measure process performance. Let's consider the example of a company called Neat Pizza, which Dora delivers pizzas to its customers. Neat Pizza promises its customers to deliver pizzas within 30 minutes of placing an order. Let's take into account the delivery performance of one of Neat Pizza's delivery centers for a particular month. What if, by measuring performance, you find the average delivery time to be 23.5 minutes? How would you rate the on-time delivery performance? How would you rate customer satisfaction? From the measured average of 23.5 minutes, it is easy for us to rate on-time delivery performance and customer satisfaction as high. Well this may not be the case. Let's try to understand why. Let's now pictorially represent the pizza delivery scenario. In this representation, where does the average 23.5 minutes lie? As most often the case, the average lies within the acceptable limit. So, what about individual deliveries? Individual deliveries will fall on both sides of the average. As you can notice here, this can be simply represented using a bell curve. Sadly, as in this case, some individual deliveries have been delayed. Therefore, managing by the average does not provide the entire picture. The average and the variation together show what's really happening.